The news now, area border patrol agents rescuing migrants in two separate incidents. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap met up with agents at a canal where two migrants almost drowned. She's at the U.S.-Mexico border with more. This is the area of the canal where Wednesday's rescue happened, and you can see that platform there behind me. That is just one of many that Border Patrol use for rescues exactly like these. And they tell me that they are anticipating to have to do a lot more in the coming months. The canal, I can tell you, is one of the risks that the criminal organizations operating in our sector do not tell the migrants that this is one of the risks that they will be facing. Here you can see photos of Border Patrol agents pulling migrants from the canal, saying one was swept downstream while another was holding on to a ladder. The two had no injuries, did not want further medical attention, and were sent back to Mexico under Title 42. We've had water in the canal for about a week now, and we've, at least, we've performed at least three different rescues in the El Paso sector canal related. Uh, we've performed about 125 rescues throughout the whole sector since the fiscal year began. Also on Wednesday, a Border Patrol agent rescued two migrants abandoned in the desert in triple digit heat west of the Santa Teresa Port of Entry. Rivera saying one was unresponsive and had to be airlifted. And Border Patrol tells me that they do need the community's help in notifying them when something suspicious is happening. Now, there's a number you can call. You can find it on our website, KTSM.com. Reporting near the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. All right, Shelby.